Well, and good afternoon or good evening whenever you happen to be watching this brief video. I'm going to try and keep this brief to about five minutes. This is just an overview of our heat map catapult or heat map system that lets you analyze what people are doing on your website so you can improve your conversion rates. Um, we do hear companies in sort of basically tripling their conversion rate using this kind of software, so no reason why it can't help you. So um, this is the dashboard that you would log into. Uh, we haven't had the software installed very long on this website. This is just for means of a demo. And you get a brief kind of overview. You've had 19 visitors, uh, tracking 22 pages and 270 sessions altogether. Uh, this would be the code that you would put on your website or get your webmaster to do it, or we can do that for you if you're willing to let us have the logins for your website. It's just a copy and paste um, piece of activity. It doesn't take long to do at all. Uh, okay, so. Um, the first thing that people tend to love are the user session videos. Now what happens is every time somebody goes on your website, the, the heat map system we have will actually record their mouse movements. So we, we can't record their screen obviously, but we can record where their mouse is moving on your site. And we store all that data so it's accessible to you via your own login, so no one else can get to it, it's secure and you get this page that tells you okay well somebody from Italy spent 12 seconds on the site uh, today uh, 8 minutes past 3 and visited the white twisted page okay so it gives you the URL that they visited um, if we come down here we can see this person here spent 15 seconds on the site this person was on the home page and then the contact page this person uh, the home page they they click the link to take back there even though it's the same page basically that the index and then through to the contact um, you know so you get an overview of where people have been so if we just have a quick look at this one you click the play and you can actually see what people have done so this is my mouse on the left by the way the other mouse you can see is the user's mouse so they left click there then they went onto this page uh, there's the form so hopefully they're going to go and fill that in and again we can't see what they've done but yes so you know they've left clicked on that they've left clicked on that and then they left clicked over there so either they couldn't find what they wanted yeah see and they've gone back now why didn't they continue and fill that form in uh, is the question I would be asking myself now. It might just be that they didn't have what they want, but if that happens a lot, then you've got to ask yourself some questions why. Um, if we come back here, the other useful section is the heat map section. Uh, now I've already preloaded these, but there's three types. There's clicks, eye tracking, and scroll. Okay, so if we start with the, the click one, it generates a page like this for you. Uh, the bigger the red splodge, the bigger the click. So in this case, you can see look, people have clicked there. Um, 15 years as a British carrier bag manufacturer, people have liked that. They click on, predominantly, it looks like those four products there. Uh, nobody clicks that one. Uh, one person, well, few people have clicked that. Um, few there. People obviously do put their contact number in, how can we help you? Um, people click the video, and then nobody really sort of clicks anything down here that's be where they scroll so that's useful um, particularly with things like forms um, not so many people click the video um, play button than sort of click here so the video is probably lost maybe we could move the video up and try that and see if that helped um, it's that sort of thing that you can look at uh, eye tracking is the next one and eye tracking we obviously can't tell where people are looking but what it does is it tracks again by mouse movement. Most people tend to move the mouse when they're reading. So people are looking at the pictures, they'll tend to put the mouse there, look. So it's an indication that people are looking at that graphic, if you like, all the, those range of graphics there. Uh, same thing with the form, people are reading the guarantee up there. People put their mouse over that and £25 off your first order in this case. Uh, so people tend to see the top bit of the website there quite nicely and then down here look it just seems like nobody's reading it nobody's looking uh, how can we back that up well the next one is scroll 
and I really like scroll what it does when I look at this page on my computer monitor like I am now I get to see down to uh, this section here eco-friendly carrier bags if I was looking on my tablet or on my phone I wouldn't see that far down I'd have to scroll to see it so what these figures here look 100% everybody that has been on the website on this page rather has seen that 100% of people have seen that only 99% have seen that bit 93% have seen there, 77% have seen there. We come down here, look, 40%, the, the play button is there, 41%, 40% have seen that, 40, 41%. Okay, that means that basically 60% of people haven't even seen the video on the website, haven't even seen there's a video there by the looks of it, they haven't got that far down. Okay, and as we come down here, 16%, 14, 13. 10%. So we've got an article here, the benefits of carrier bags. 11% see it. So again, 89% of people don't, to put that in perspective. Okay. And that's where this information is useful. There's no point putting valuable information down here because people aren't reading it, they're not seeing it at all. And that's how you can use heat map software to try different things, see how users interact with it. Um, I mean, it's interesting there. Look, there's a phone number there. And if we look at the eye tracking um, software, what do you notice? Nobody is putting their mouse over the phone number. So the phone number isn't very visible. Um, according to the heat map software. So maybe we need a bit more data, but that's how useful this can be. Um, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for your time.